Gavin um, from Get Your Rock Out. I'm here with Miko. Miko. Miko yeah. uh, from the Von Hertz and Brothers yes. at Nottingham Rock City. So, um, hello. 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 Welcome, <laughs> welcome to England. Again. Thank you. Thank you. Again, you've been here before many we've times? Been, we've been here uh, quite a bit last year. You okay. know, last year when we were uh, in March, we released the, our new album, uh, Nine Lives. And I think since we have been here at least four or five times. Okay. Playing okay. gigs uh, mainly in London area, but also we had a tour with the with the prog rock band Touchstone in October. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we did a few regional gigs then as well. Oh, okay, brilliant. So um, but how's the tour going for you so far? We're on date number four. This I is think, number four, and, and yeah. uh, I think every single band is tighter now than when we started. Oh. And, uh, it was <laughs> you had a day off. Did we you had a day off, yeah. and every you know today <laughs> yesterday was a beautiful day off here in Nottingham. We were actually in the park and had a few beers in the park, and then oh, wow. ch just. Saw the saw the city and uh, was that local or was that in Manchester or no here? No, oh, here. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. Because we drove after the gig straight here. We yeah. wanted last time we were on tour in October. Uh, we had a few days off in Manchester, so okay. now we could choose. We wanted oh, to come course. here well, because yeah, yeah, this is yeah, the first time we ever come here. Yeah. So it was very nice. And but uh, the tour has been fantastic so far. All the bands are good. I, I, it's uh, you know when we started, I was a little bit hesitant whether this is a good match for us because we are kind of a proggy. Of course, we have yeah. that kind of proggy element to it. And, mm. and, and uh, but I think Ginger has been uh, doing a lot of like educating people lately. You know, with his songwriting, he's <laughs> of been course, yes. he's been also it's um, just not a regular punk rock. Band, his latest I mean. album, Albion. I mean, yeah. it touches upon quite exactly. a few different styles as well, doesn't it? Yeah, he does, and it's it's and just you know. Looking at people's reactions, I think that it's going down pretty well. Fantastic, and, and, fantastic. Uh, yeah, I mean, so far so good. We are very happy to be on this tour because it's we are playing proper venues. Mm. We are, you know, people are treating us nice. The bands are, you know, the guys in the in you know Wild Hearts, they are cool. such good people. You know, they're just like you know giving us everything we need. We can use their all the lights, all the you know the guy who's course, mixing yeah. them. He's helping us. Everybody's helping, so it's really nice to be on this tour. Absolutely, but a family. Yeah, it's yeah. really like that, and it, there's like this mutual, you know, appreciation of good music mm. and respect that is, uh, you know, we've been touring with, with not so great people as well, yeah, you know, and we've been supporting bands that, uh, you know, you just don't want to deal with of after that one gig, you know, yeah. that, okay, these are people that may, maybe we should like leave that's alone. The business. That's the business that's for the you, business. isn't it? Yeah. 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 So, you know, nothing like that on this tour, so it's really nice. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. And um, obviously, just curiously, because obviously you, you're from Finland, mm -hmm. and you play a lot in Europe. Yeah. How do you, the English compare with the rest of Europe? Uh, I'm just, I'm just curious more than anything. Well, you know, it's it's <laughs> for us. I yeah. mean, of course, it's a situation because our music is rooted in the English soil. You know, okay. Because yeah. our favorite bands are pretty much all British. Okay. Well. You know, from the from the early 70s, late 60s. Yeah. Starting from the Stones and Beatles. You know, it's like everything is there. So it's a little bit of a situation that we feel that we are we are coming to a place. Where people are going, just like well, you know, it's kind of like Eskimo, you know, going to sell ice cream to Eskimos situation, yeah. you know. Yeah. But then again, there is, um, I think that there's an element to our band that, uh, you know, apart from the, you know, familiar sound of it yeah. to the people's ears here, there's something extra there, and it's. Maybe the the Scandinavian Finnish melancholy, whatever mm. you know, thing. And then we are three brothers, so we do have like we share that, that same kind of energy. So it has an impact on people. Of course. So I, I think it's. Uh, I, I've been actually surprised that it's been people have been very respect, you know, you know, uh, receptive mm. to our music here, and we have actually even sold albums here. Of course. Which is which is which is. Uh, these days, it's a small miracle, you know. <laughs> so it's it's really, I don't I don't think that uh, I think I think that the, the people people here appreciate good music, mm. and and then oh, we have to be thankful for people like Ginger who has been like raving about us, yeah. you know, and and letting people know that this is a band you should hear, taking us us on tour with him, mm. you know, doing doing stuff that. You know, only a person who has a big heart would do to another. Of band. course, yes. Yeah. No, that's uh, no, that's fantastic. So I mean, 
how did that actually come about? How did the tour come about? Obviously, with yourselves. I mean, obviously, this was. A, I mean, I think the tour was originally announced sort of like late last year. I think it was. Um, obviously, initially, what I'd ask, hey, hello. Yeah. Everyone obviously sees the immediate connection, don't yeah. they? But yeah. obviously, with yourselves, obviously yeah. from Europe, like you said you're much more of a prog band. Yeah. How did it? You know, I mean, is it? Is it? Uh, have you toured the Wild Hearts before? No, no, we haven't. Uh, we haven't. I. I you know, I met Ginger the first time in 2010 when he was touring with Michael Monroe. Of course, and yeah, we, were, yeah. we were playing a few few gigs together, and uh, and he he heard us that time first time, and he came to say, you know, like he can, you know, just the way he does. He, he had that kind of he, heart, doesn't he? He, he, he comes that, yeah. he comes immediately after the show and says that bloody hell guys I never you know you're one of the greatest bands I've ever seen and he started raving about it I was just going like yeah well okay he's drunk you know, <laughs> you know whatever. but then you know our kind of friendship you yeah. know started from there and then last uh, last December I was playing at his birthday bash okay, of course, in, in yeah. Coco's yeah. Yeah. yeah so I was there and I think you know we were talking just about our you know what's going to happen in the future mm -hmm. what are they doing what is he doing what what is our band doing and then it kind of just like you know kind of like the seed was kind of like planted yeah. then that okay we are looking for a tour here and then he he just like he just called us up and said we're going on tour with the wild hearts you guys want to come yeah and we said, hell yeah, oh, yeah. you know, <laughs> if, 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 just down, like, yeah. If, if we can just like somehow like manage the, you know, the schedules and yeah. everything, if, if somehow it clicked, and it clicked like that, you know, why not, why not? why not, why yeah. not, yeah, fantastic, so, so I'm interested, obviously because you're the Von Hertz and brothers, obviously, yeah. they're clearly, I'm, I personally am one of four, All is right. there any sibling rivalry, <laughs> do you know, anyone, yeah, well, are, you, you know, are you trying to put each other off, or, <laughs> You know, we, we know that you know that that brother thing can be can ruin us. It yeah. can just totally ruin us. The whole band can be just in flames in five seconds if we yeah. decide that to be the case. <laughs> or we can turn it and use it as an asset. Yeah. You know, and and that's that's up to us. You know, so I'm not saying it's easy. You know, all the time, mm. but it's usually only difficult when we are creating new music oh, you know really? when it's like okay. when it's like when we have different opinions about things mm. or different visions because it is a de democracy i'm not the i'm not the leader of the band even yeah. though i i might look like that because i'm in the state center you yeah. know but we do we do discuss a lot about the music and how we are going to deal with things you know just every every single thing has to have the stamp of the three of us okay and it works well but it also means compromises it means respecting each other you know giving some sometimes giving in you know and, and all that so but we learned yeah. we've learned to do that and i think that because we have a long history in music business like each of us have reached popularity yeah. at a young age of course and and uh, with our own bands of course you know before despite the of, brothers, yeah you obviously had your own group exactly as well, didn't and, you? and so so it's not that there's a person in the band who wants to be the guy you know that everybody okay. yeah. you know it's everybody knows that you know we all ha had our share of the you know of the success the yeah yeah and yeah. then we know that you know it's 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 a team thing you know if we all decide that we are going to that direction and put all our energy into right into into achieving things we have a lot of power it, it has a lot of power in it now we can also start just like going around and blaming each other and competing <laughs> with each other yeah. that doesn't lead anywhere it's, it's not gonna fix anything, yeah so, yeah so why not just like you know uh, kind of uh, use it mm. for us that we we actually have that very similar energy in us, mm. you know, as, as, as guys, as people. And if we just like direct, direct it to one particular point, it has a tremendous power. Oh. And that's what we need to do and not just like fight, you know, that doesn't lead us anywhere. It must be a wonderful sense of achievement because obviously you won an Emma Award. Yeah. You didn't, you, for your yeah. song, yeah. Is it Flowers and Rust? You won an award, yeah. you yeah. won an award for that. So obviously you say, you know, everyone's putting their pieces sort of yeah. in together and then obviously writing a song. Yeah. It's huge, isn't it? I mean, I mean, everyone loves it and it wins an award. That again must be a massive sense of achievement between mm. just, I mean, the three of you. I know there's, you've got a couple of other members as well. Yeah, we do. We yeah. do. Like, like they are. They're members that have been there from the start when we started gigging, so yeah. they're both there, and they are they're kind of brothers to us. Of even course. even though it's it's the three of us who run the run the band, but yeah. but their their kind of musicianship is uh, 
so uh, I mean it's beyond important for us yeah you know they are really good musicians and we wouldn't be anywhere without them of course so, fantastic yeah um, so obviously I know at the moment you are working on album number six, six. that's it yeah uh, it's how, frightening how are we getting on there <laughs> it's going well I mean we, we are in the, uh, at the very moment we are in the stage that we are in the tour bus listening to the demos okay. that we have done and uh, we just like two days before we started the tour we still were playing around with the, the keys and the tempos and what it should sound like and, and uh, I think that it's kind of on the pre-production stage Okay. and at the moment we are uh, we're negotiating a deal with the producer so okay. whether that comes through then we start kind of the true work now of course, yeah, when, when we are done with this tour and we, we're going to Japan in, in May and so oh, we have okay. a little bit of gigging yeah. still still to do this, uh, this are, you, are you trying any new tracks on the tour at the moment? Are no, you no, 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 still under lock and no, key? Yeah. No, it's totally under lock and key because <laughs> it's uh, <laughs> some of them might be even close to being ready but we don't want to bring it yet because you know everybody has at least two phones at the moment of course, yes, and, yes. and if it's not something that we are completely 100% sure of we don't want to put it out there yet no that's a, that's a, that's but, a fair um, point yeah. yeah but we'll see I mean I think that uh, summer and end, end of summer if we are doing some gigs we might try out a few, a few new fantastic things. of course um, talking about the summer you've, you've just touched upon touring in Japan yeah um, what else have you got planned for, uh, for the rest of 2014 uh, 2014 is going to be for us I think we are going to concentrate on the new album okay we have uh, we are coming to play in the UK the great escape in Brighton early May oh the, that festival isn't that's it? a festival it's yeah, like it's a, right. it's, it's a it's showcase it's festival of course yeah, yeah 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 so we'll do that and then we have a week off and then we fly to Japan for three dates okay we do Osaka and two in, in Tokyo and then we'll fly back to Finland and I <laughs> think I think we have two weeks of rehearsing time okay. scheduled so okay. we're going to go run through the new song so that the you know the whole band is kind of like on the same page absolutely yeah and then we are going to do a few festivals and at the same time when we have uh, weekends and weeks off we are going to just play around with the ideas and trying to trying to get the producer to to kind of bring the the new songs to a level that when we reach the stu you know the studio stage uh, hmm. August time or maybe September we are ready to do that you're ready to do that now, yeah. yeah and then then uh, if everything goes well I think le end of September we have done our share uh, the recording is done and yeah. then the mixing starts and then we can hit the road again and I'm, I'm thinking that for the band it would be best to come back to England and do a headlining tour oh wow that okay, time. Yeah. but that might we, we have to think about it and maybe 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 wait until March when the new album mm. comes out, 2015, or maybe we come already in October or November. Yeah. I don't know. We have we have talked about it, but we are not sure what we want. You've had to. you've had a good response from this tour so far. Yeah. I've seen myself online. Obviously, you've had a very sort yeah. of good response. Obviously, you were concerned, Wild Hearts fans, not necessarily in the same sort yeah. of. Yeah, you, yeah. You said you were more. No, but that's a beautiful more thing. The bog, a little bit more punk rock. Yeah, if you would say yeah. yourself. Yeah. yeah. But, um, but there's the element of punk there as well and there's the element of like hard rock and everything that everything is also found in in Wild Hearts harmonies of course they sing yes. a lot of harmonies we have a lot of harmonies so it's like yeah it's it's a flavor thing you know mm. you might want to have like a field strawberry one day and then you want to <laughs> have like a, yeah, like that, yeah, 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 the other. yeah but it's pretty much the, still like yeah. the essence of it is the same so yeah. fantastic yeah. fantastic Okay, well, do you know what? Thank you very much for your time. Thank you again. I, um, good luck tonight. I hope it goes very well <laughs> yeah. for you. Oh, say, this is a beautiful... Not in Rock City. I'm not, I'm not, I, first time for me as well. So Nobody I'm, ever sucks in Rock City. Yeah. That's what they told me. <laughs> so I'm pretty confident. So, yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you so Thanks, much. Mate. All right, yeah. mate. All right. Cool.